Dr. Wilson of Yale School of Medicine discussed this topic on the escaping pump factor. He noted that if you are on all the age and follow the recommended guidelines, you can be sure that getting a cancer screening will end to that cancer is caught early. You might think, isn't it good that I'm following the rules and my life has just been saved? However, as this article demonstrates, it is difficult to prove that cancer screening unequally save lives. A meta-analysis of very specific randomized trials of cancer screening methods has shown conclusively that with the exception of sigmoidoscopy for colon cancer screening, none of the existing methods significantly changes life expectancy. For example, a Canadian randomized trial of mammography showed no effect of screening on breast cancer mortality or overall mortality, although sigmoidoscopy only extends life by about 110 days. Yes, screening tests are unlikely to benefit most people because they are not at risk of dying from the particular type of cancer being screened for. However, they can be significant for the small number of people who get screened regularly, potentially saving their lives. It would be ideal if we could identify these individuals in advance, but then there would be no need for a screening test. Dr. Wilson told an old story about a girl on the beach after a storm who threw washed up starfish back into the water. Someone came up and asked, why are you doing this? There are millions of starfish out there. It does not matter if you threw a few back. She replied, it's matter. I share Dr. Perry Wilson's concern that such a meta-analysis might lead some people to opt out of cancer screening. For 39 out of 50 people, this might be acceptable. However, for about 1 in 50 people, screening tests are important. In my opinion, the solution lies in establishing the criteria for whom, when, at what age starting and how often screening tests should be performed. Thanks for likes and sharing.